Hey guys, today we are gonna make two different types of keto pre-workout drinks. The first one, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through. It's a standard keto diet pre-workout. And the second one is for more of a muscle building keto diet. So like if fat loss isn't your primary goal, if you're trying to build muscle and that's your number one goal, you can try the second pre-workout drink I show you. The second one has some carbs in it. The first one, pretty much anyone on a keto diet can use. That being said, workout nutrition is not really mandatory. It's not an exact science. If you feel good with a fasted workout, that's best for fat loss. So, you know, you can play around with these things. If you're feeling low energy during your workout though, maybe you'll wanna try one of these. First thing I wanna to touch on is pink salt or really any kind of salt. If you are feeling low energy at your workout, I would suggest adding a little bit of salt pre-workout. I like to do like a gram. You can start with this and that'll start to troubleshoot your issues. Maybe it's an electrolyte issue. So if you add some salt, that can really help your workout. So I put salt in all of my pre-workout drinks. Let's walk through some of the ingredients we're gonna use for this, okay? We have whey protein powder. There's Quest brand and Isopure is the one we normally go with. Both of them are good. Anything that's relatively low carb is good. I put a half a scoop in mine, about 12 grams worth of whey protein. It's a really small amount. Some MCT oil I find really beneficial for a pre-workout. So you can use the liquid, or we also have this MCT oil powder. That's kind of convenient if you wanna just mix it all in your bottle beforehand and then just add water and go. Either of those work. I do about a half a tablespoon. As I mentioned, salt, and then optionally, some creatine powder. So I put five grams of creatine in all of my pre-workouts. I take five grams of creatine every day. It gives you better muscle endurance in the gym, just easier to build muscle, and it also has some cognitive benefits. I'll link an article on the benefits of creatine below if you guys are interested in researching it further. So let's start with the standard keto pre-workout. You gotta get a scale out. So the standard keto pre-workout, no carbs added. I'm gonna put about 12 to 14 grams of whey protein. I'm gonna put a half a tablespoon of MCT oil. Should be about four or four, to, in between four and five grams. And then I'm gonna put a little over a gram of salt. And come watch how much salt this is. It seems like a lot. I put a lot of salt in here though. So watch this. Right there. So you can stop right there. If you wanna add creatine, go ahead and add creatine. I'm gonna add five grams. Okay, so stop right there if you're making the standard keto pre-workout. If you're on standard keto diet, you're looking to lose weight, that's your primary goal, this is for you. Now I'm gonna take it to the next level for more of a muscle building keto pre-workout. So remember, if fat loss is your goal, this might not be for you. So right here we have Caro light corn syrup, right? Now you have to get the light corn syrup and you wanna look that it says zero grams high fructose corn syrup. You don't want fructose. You want zero grams of fructose in this drink. This is pure dextrose. This is a bit of a hack that you can use for a keto diet. The dextrose in here will restore your muscle glycogen without restoring any liver glycogen, which is where ketones are produced. All of the carbs will be readily available at your workout. So you'll burn through this. And then after the workout, pretty quickly you'll be back into ketosis. If you're doing like berries and stuff like that, or even table sugar, which is about 50% fructose, that goes to your liver and that really interrupts the ketone production and it'll be a longer time before you're back into ketosis. So this is a good hack you might wanna try for a keto pre-workout. I put one tablespoon of this, which comes out to being 15 grams of carbs. I'm gonna add that now and it's really sweet. It's basically pure sugar. This is usually in the baking aisle. You can pretty much find it anywhere. Some alternatives to this are dextrose powder, maltodextrin powder. Both of those you probably heard of before because they're like things you stay away from when you're trying to do keto. But they actually have some utility in this because, you know, as I said, it just restores muscle glycogen without affecting ketone production very much. Um, so yeah, you can order bulk maltodextrin dextrose powders. Um, a lot of people will use Smarties, the candy. That's almost pure dextrose. You basically just want all dextrose, no fructose. That's the whole goal. That is the completed muscle building keto pre-workout. Now this comes out to just under 200 calories. In addition to that, I take a 200 milligram caffeine pill. You can also take some coffee. Um, you can leave out caffeine if you're very sensitive to it. This is just all stuff that works for me. 
you want to experiment with what works really well for you. I love these caffeine pills, 200 milligrams. I, I drink one cup of coffee in the morning, then this before my workout, and I'm good to go for the workout. One thing you might want to consider when you have a pre-workout with carbs in it like this is for about an hour after the workout, you don't want to be having like really a high fat meal. You can maybe have a high protein, low fat meal or like a, a shake of some kind, but you don't want to have like eggs and bacon because your insulin will still be slightly elevated and you'll store body fat if you do that. So this is a really good way to build lean muscle. Me personally, I like to wait about an hour to 90 minutes after the gym and then just have a normal keto meal. That's if you add the syrup. If you're just doing the normal keto pre-workout, you're good. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have questions on this, comment below. Let, us, let me know what kind of pre-workout you guys make for keto, if you add some carbs into it or whatnot. Um, check out the blog post below and Mega also has a pre-workout or her kind of take on this pre-workout that she does every day. It's a little bit different than this. Check that out. Comment below and let me know what you guys use for a pre-workout. It's been real guys. Keto gains. All kinds of gains.